Education. Democrats fundamentally believe that every student deserves a quality education regardless of their parents' zip code or income. Okay, then why do you, why is that like the funding for those public schools are tied to like property taxes? Okay, continue on. We know that education starts well before like kids go to kindergarten. Sony shows that children who attend preschool are, are nearly 50% more likely to finish high school and go on to earn two or three uh, two or four years degrees, no matter their background. That's why Democrats will provide a free universal preschool for like four year olds uh, and saving in five million um, children uh, 13,000 a year. In the wake of the pandemic, that urgent. That's especially urgent. The American Rescue Plan made the biggest investment in public education in history, providing oh, 130 billion to like help 15,000 like uh, districts reopen, rebuild, and catch the kids up. Um, the funding has like worked to like help our children and learn. The historical investments like spurred along overdue in improvements school facilities and indoor air quality, uh, creating safe and like uh, healthy like learning environments for students and schools and the staff. Uh, since then, we are providing a additional two billion on to high need uh, Title I schools, um, help districts uh, nationwide train and hire fourteen hundred more counselors and social workers, so kids can like, heal from like disruptions of COVID and cope with the fears of gun violence in like order to like focus on learning. We increase investments in like full service like uh, community schools fivefold, providing like healthcare, nutrition, job training, and other. Uh, they worry about services for like kids at school, investing in their future, making families' lives easier. Uh, what do I want to comment on as well too? But I will, I will say this as well too. I have for like as many like a pointless jobs or like bullshit jobs or unnecessary work we're doing something like that. One thing, one sector, a sector that like we always will need people to like do this kind of work too is care work. So care work for right? nurses, teachers, social workers, counselors, are so there that's the kind of kind of work that like we need to do more of in general and we need to like encourage people to do and also help those that want to do that kind of work to be able to live on that kind of like work as well too now if you just have ununiversal basic services guaranteed to like everyone and so that like no one has to worry about the cost of living period and pursue whatever kind of a career or whatever kind of like uh, work they want to do then there'll be plenty of people to be teachers plenty of people to be teachers plenty of people to be social workers plenty of people to be caregivers plenty of be uh, people being counselors uh, and so on and so forth so they can assist those people that are struggling as well too um but the capitalist wants us to be like scared and uneducated and like um and the hungry and starving, and like uh, the fear about the risk of destitution, so the forces to work in a lot of things too. So it's kind of like it seems like pie in the sky, but I think there's a lot of things you can improve in order to like just improve like all society in general to like get rid of the cost of living as well too, including criminality. Continue on. We increase investments in full-time service uh, community schools fivefold. Fivefold, but providing healthcare, nutrition, job training, and other. Okay, so I already read that part. I'm sorry. Uh, the administration import, supports a multitude of approaches that like have been proven to like uh, help like students learn, reducing chronic absenteeism by building social and emotional support at schools, offering um, literacy programs, and setting up high, setting high expectations for students' attendance, providing incentives uh, to tutoring, and extending in the school day and year, expanding like community schools and helping like schools to lift like students' like achievement uh, rather than like punishing them based on like the school uh, state standardized testing as well. I thought, what, what, what could the standardized test do, honestly? What could the standardized test do as well, too? But one thing is also, and now, there's always, a, again, there's this medium article that read years ago, like 70 years ago or something like that, by like a professor of psychology as well, too, at a university. And even amongst his own colleagues, he kind of noticed this, like, perpetu this, like, perpetual, like, um... attitude that like uh people that are lazy for just not doing the work and not showing up to class and like the professor will fail them for that this professor decided to like wanted to like see why is this person is uh failing why is person this person not doing well 
And when he finds out, more often times, there's something going on with that student. That student is struggling with something, or that they just had a breakup, or they're having a mental health crisis. Well, too. Again, he's a professor of psychology, and so he like he works with the students. Okay, he will understand what uh, you're suffering, going through a lot. He's suffering a breakup, or you have an illness in the family, or you're sick yourself, or you're having a mental uh, health like crisis. Well, too. Don't worry, I'll forgive you for like the like the attendance and like the. Uh, late assignments i'm not gonna i'll give you extra time to do so or i'll wait for you to be in the right mindset to like tackle your assignments as well too or your classes don't worry i won't fail you for that as well too so he like he talked to the students and like talked to them with compassion to try to figure out what it's like it happened to them why they're not attending class why they're not doing their works instead of like other of his other colleagues of his other professors of psychology so they are also other professors of psychology they should know better but no other person of psychology said oh this person is like being lazy fail them so that's probably it happens a lot with like students as well too and, and that's like again care work definitely should be like incentivized we should incentivize um society or society around giving care to people uh, and it's helping that as well too. There probably will be plenty of jobs and probably plenty of work to be done in like caregiving, and we can like incentivize doing that by giving them the idea of a cost of living, and and but also we could like if we are going to still have like money in society as well too, and have to like they expect people to pay for things as well too, then increase the rates of the wages um salaries for people who are in caregiving uh, services. Nurses, teachers, like counselors, caregivers, um, social workers, for sure. Mental health professionals as well. Yeah, that's why I hate the concept of like people are just lazy or the, the idea of laziness. It's just ableism, honestly. Continue on. We fully support the uh, fully. We support fully funding the idea to prioritize students with disabilities and with and the special educators workforce. Uh, we support efforts to like provide more timely, well-rounded action and feedback, uh, actionable feedback on student learning and the process to uh, to and the progress to educators and to families that will support institutions and in study in student access while upholding rigorous academic standards. One thing is that, like as John Brinkman said, that when he was a chemistry teacher, he was not paid to teach. That's what he loves doing. He loves teaching. Love explaining in concepts in chemistry. Love explaining things in such a way that like people get it. Seeing the spark in the student's eyes, like, oh, I get it now. That's what he lives for. That's why he does, like, they, when he did like, chemistry teaching, and that's, what the, that's what he strives for, works for. But that's not what he's paid to do. What he's paid to do is grade. He is paid to assess that this uh, student uh, did the assignment or not, or answered the question correctly or not. And that grading is going to like be held to like uh, the standards of the uh, what they're doing. Hello, Ashley Sanders. The Democrats are so evil and treacherous that they won't even like vote for a president of Kansas who was found guilty of felonies, libel for sexual abuse, and is out on bail for like two thousand dollars. Wow. I'm an anarchist. I'm not a Democrat. Maybe I'm a Richard and a member of the Democratic Party, but that's by force. If we have to like choose between like uh for the special election right now, we have to choose between like a uh, fascist and a felon in like Donald Trump and a white supremacist, or a top cop like cop queen Kamala Harris. And it's that's more it's not like a, cho a choice or like a democracy choice. It's a hostage situation, honestly. But it's more of a hostage situation. You have to like vote for like uh, Biden as well too. But yeah, so we have to like vote for the uh, administration that's like continuing supporting and like facilitating a genocide, I, in the hope that they not going to like support or uh, can facilitate the genocide more. But they won't. They will continue to support genocide. But we have no options in like ending the genocide at least voting. In order, we cannot solve the problems of the Palestinian genocide by voting. It cannot, we cannot do that by voting. He has to like done for like practice and other activities as well too, protests and other stuff. Uh, let's see, where was I? 
So I kind of quibble with like uh, the academic standards or thing as well too, because like it seems like they would still want to grade students on their progress. Anyway, continue on. We oppose the use of like, private school vouchers, um, tuition tax credit, um, opportunity scholarships, and other schemes that divert like taxpayers from resources away from public education. Yeah, this was something I mentioned ye in uh, yesterday because uh, the right wing was all about the sort of thing too. They want still like uh, government handouts basically uh, to be able to send their kids to private schools and it be like funded by like the state school too. When I think like if you're going to have private schools, have private schools just pay for it if you want to and many like the rich people and the super wealthy people do pay for public private schools as well too but like, public education should be public education safe money would should go to public education i say if we're going it, it yeah can you know uh public taxpayers should never be used to discriminate and we will continue to work to increase accountability at charters holding them into the same as uh transparency standards as public school charter schools is a whole can of worms Again, education should not be for profit either. Just like healthcare should not be for profit, education should not be for profit as well, too. And charter school is just like something that's definitely for profit, honestly. Uh, we'll prioritize education and cutting edge as STEM fields as well, especially for students from like un under underrepresented communities, preparing every child to compete and thrive. And we are working to provide every student with a pathway a, to a multilingual education while ensuring equal equitable access to high quality education for English learners who have historically been underserved. A equality post secondary education used to be the ticket to the middle class, but the cost for many folks in face a uh, for higher education today is crippling families, futures and like entire economy. It's become a barrier to uh, an opportunity. Democrats will make a quality affordable post the uh, post secondary education uh, path forward uh, again. I do know someone that doesn't talk to their father because their parents paid for their college. And it kind of like nearly put the family into like the poor house, honestly. Um, and the person, oh, well, they were like 19, honestly. So they said, yeah, I'll pay back the loan. I'll pay back the loan. I'll pay back the loan. And so they went to like a great, a great, uh, uh, university as well too, that like, um, specialize in like video game programming or computer programming it has like an excellent like school that like a lot of video game developers come like look for the students from like this university because this person has a passion for like making video games um and they did work in the video game industry the standard career of like four different companies in 10 years and so they were unemployed for a moment and like were struggling to like make payments as well too and their father was still they you know, trying to lovingly ask for the money for the college loan or like can uh get back onto like making payments towards that college loan it came to a point where like the person that i know said to their father what's more important to you my love or the money the father said both and he got neither So yeah, post-secondary education being as expensive as it is, those cause rifts in like families as such. And so, higher education, all education should be like free, and be like provided by society. And there will be plenty of people that will be willing to like work in like education and teaching and care work as well too if they don't have to worry about if i'm i'll be able to pay rent or like afford food but let's all think about that and ruminate on that as we'll take a self-care break i have to run ads on my twitch channel uh so that like um people won't be hit by by pre-roll ads as they come to my channel uh right now, continue on um Four-year colleges is not the only pathway to a good career. So Democrats are investing in other forms of education and as well, including career and uh, technical education. Oh, why is it like, like one has to have like a good career in order to have like a life or have a thriving life? Why not just have like provide a thriving life to like all, not just uh, people who like want a good career? That's, like, that's something that's just like I, that notion I also kind of want to challenge too as well. 
uh, the fact that it's like people are like like to seek for advancements as well too again i always bring this up as well to uh, why i kind of am against capitalism is just like yeah okay okay true for someone like me i could probably like go up the corporate ladder but i'll be concerned about people behind me especially since like as you go up and up in the corporate ladder it's a pyramid that like there's less and less people at the top there's probably like 30 people that are running mcdonald's as well until but only one manager at that mcdonald's and so like everyone that works at McDonald's don't have the same opportunities to be able to be a manager as well too. And people think they are fine. Like again, some people will be a successful enough to gain capital enough to be small business owners, but many won't. And because like yes, yeah, some anyone could be a millionaire, but not everyone can be a millionaire. And I have that issue with that system as word where it's just like that denulation of like a people stacking a caste system or a class system as word too. And because I think that hierarchy of a corporate ladder, as it were, too, or like business owners own their workers, is of course an unjustifiable hierarchy. Especially since like business owners just have power over the workers, for example, or people up the further up the ladder have power over workers. As a society, I continue. On. The administration is expanding job training and partnerships that uh, that connect high schools and local businesses and local unions to prepare students for like good jobs in like high school, high wage, and like in demand industries. It makes uh, trade schools and communities in college for free for every American, and is making like regular investments in like registered apprenticeships, which already trains more than like one million Americans a year across industries, including cutting edge industries. Hey, some 90% of them like stay as like full hires, earning an average of starting salary of $80,000 a year. Uh, why not just give $80,000 a year to everyone, period? Not just like people who aren't willing to work. But like some people would like to think that they are better than others, which I think is the uh, is the problem that the most Democrats like uh, fall under and believe as well, too, and want to continue to perpetuate that like many people as well, too. Uh, that's a path to the middle class that families can count on. Why to have the uh, middle class? Why not just like raise everyone up? By talking about a middle class, you're also talking about there's there's always the assumption that be there's someone under the middle class, right? If we're going to focus on the middle class, which is the middle class is the only kind of class that Democrats talk about, and the only kind of like class is like uh, is acceptable to talk about in political discourse in like uh, USA politics. The middle class and nothing else no other kind of class and what's the middle class just the, the well-off working class so they're not often not talk about workers they may talk about laborers but not talk about the working class because the democrats are still in favor of the class system and they don't want to change that at all so they're still capitalists which is the problem because like a lot of these like uh, problems that they tried to fix are inherent to capitalism and they just want to make it nicer that's all they just want to like make it nicer and like some people up but not everyone uh continue on a majority of college students graduated student, student debt and again biden was asked if he would forgive fifty thousand dollars in student debt which he has the power to do and he flat out said i will not and from what I can tell, all the liberals seem to be fine with that. Granted, all the liberals that said in 2020, that encouraging us to like vote for Biden in 2020, that they're going to hold Biden's feet to the fire. I just honestly never believed that the liberals were going to hold Biden's feet to the fire when they all said, I was, I knew we were only going to get $1,400. Uh, so yeah, they're going to talk about student death, but like they're going to say, that, hey, we forgive like ten thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars to student death. They could have they've forgiven fifty thousand dollars, but choose not to. So I, I don't believe the Democrats are really serious about this issue because they do not use all of their options available to them to be able to do it. A majority of college students graduate with student debt. Forgive it all, then. Just forgive it all. Why not? What's wrong with that? No, seriously. What is wrong with that? Continue on. It can be like an overwhelming stress. As like, I mean, like again, um, I know someone that is not talking to their father because the father insisted on still like asking for like money for to pay off the college debt. 
So the overall interest in like the snowball, in fact, on like the that college debt, ended um, a relationship between a father and child. And continue on. Give me an overwhelming stress. At snowballing the interest that follows folks for decades, defining the choices that they made and the jobs that they take, holding back our entire economy. Although Republicans appointees on the Supreme Court balked in, uh, Biden's initial like, student debt to like, relief plan for 40 million borrowers, he has like, not stopped using every available tool to provide relief. Bull fucking shit! No! Biden was asked if he would forgive 50... This is on video. He was asked if he was going to forgive $50,000 in student debt, student college debt, student loan debt, which he has the power to do, and he said he will not. So I, the Democrats, this is why I have a hard time believing you. You say that you're going to use every single available to to provide relief. You don't. Unless I'm wrong about something. But yet Biden didn't say anything. No, I cannot do that. He said, I won't do it. He didn't say I cannot do that. As if the person asked that question and was wrong about like something that like, oh, he doesn't have the power to forgive up to fifty thousand dollars of student debt like that. He did not say I cannot do that. He say I won't do it. So I do not. So if like if that's one example of like see, if saying of them saying that they are not going to stop to use every tool available, but they don't, then what's going to like stop the Democrats from like not using the other tools available to them, or crying foul that like oh no we can't do that as well too, oh which is why they don't they don't want to fight the most conservative members of their like party. They, they want a Joe Manchin to be in the Senate. They want a Joe Lieberman to be in the Senate. They want someone who's very conservative, but yet still a Democrat for some reason. And that will like not be in favor of this, that, uh, this progressive policy, this progressive policy, this progressive policy. So they can blame them. That's why we're not telling have a $15 minimum wage. It's Joe Manchin. That's why hey, we don't have Medicare else. Joe Manchin or someone, whoever's going to be the next villain. Honestly, I, the I think the Democrats would want like the like Republican Party to to have like a on one part of the Congress, either the House or the Senate, so that they can go. Listen, we can't do anything as well that because like the Republican Party controls this part of the government. I don't know if Democrats want power because they don't seem to like use it when they get it. Continue on. His administration has already approved the cancellation of like $167 billion in loans for nearly 5 million borrowers, as including nearly a million public service it, servants like uh, teachers, nurses, and police. And, and he has outlined plans to deliver relief to 30 million borrowers in all. I'm surprised that like police are like, struggling to pay student debts as well, too. Don't they get like six-figure salaries sometimes? Um... They definitely do not have the most dangerous job, honestly. Pizza delivery drivers have a more a higher mortality rate than police officers. Um, continue on. Meanwhile, it is like new safe plan is the most affordable student loan repayment plan in history, helping like eight million Americans, including a more than four point five million who are now have zero monthly payments. This and savings will transform lives and freeing people to buy a house to start a family or launch a business with new hope. And now I mentioned that, like, um, the police, they, they claim that they had one of the most uh, dangerous jobs. Well, too. No, not based on the numbers. Coal miners, craft fishermen, um, uh, electric engineers, those are more dangerous jobs. Pizza delivery drivers die more, it, it were more pizza delivery drivers dying every year than, like, cops. And again, I thought that's like, well, I'm not going to doubt those stats because I bet those are stats, but it's like, how is that like a pizza delivery driver's job is dangerous? Oh, wait, you drive so often, there's a lot of car accidents that can happen, some which are fatal. Oh, okay. I just answered my own question then. Obviously, electric, uh, like uh, electric engineers, that makes sense. You're dealing with electricity, accidents can happen. Construction workers as well, too. There were like um, people that were on the bridge. Uh, they were doing construction work and they were not fast enough to report, tell them to get off a bridge when like an ocean liner like lost control. They did send an SOS and tell like the dispatchers of like SOS we're going to collide with this bridge right now so that they were able to stop traffic on the bridge. They were in like, traffic going, going onto the bridge when the ocean liner hit. But the construction workers that were working on that uh, uh, bridge did not get the alert soon enough and so eight of them died. All of which were like 
uh, people who immigrated from like uh, Mexico or Guatemala or other places, the illegal immigrants or undocumented immigrants that then, well, the many construction companies hire undocumented immigrants because they're not willing to like speak up about like their shitty pay or their terrible work conditions as well too because if they speak up they'll be afraid to be deported as well too <sighs> so that's how like sometimes construction workers die in that sort of kind of cases when they're undocumented and don't want to speak up about like the dangers at their workplaces as well too uh, and that's how the construction workers are like a more dangerous job than police officers. Uh, continue on. These savings will transform like in lives, freeing people to buy a house, start a family, or launch a business with new hope. For young people just like heading into college now, we have already secured the largest increase in Pell grants in a decade. We further expanded these like grants to seven million more students and like doubled the maximum of war by twenty twenty nine. We invested in the record sixteen billion in historical black colleges and universities, HBCUs, and we're working on to subsidize tuition to all minorities uh, servicing institutions for anyone whose families earn less than like $125,000 a year. That's a lot of people that like earn less than that. I earn less than that. Um, or as a family who earn less than that. If you just like have two parents that are working full-time jobs and only making $40,000 a year, yeah, there you go. And like for making $40,000 a year, so that's 20 bucks an hour. So that's uh, in like contrast of like how like low it is as well too. And how that is the majority of people, honestly. Um, what I wanted to like uh, say, it's interesting that I'm like I haven't like looked into this recently, because I don't know if I would want to actually like go to college myself. Like, what do I get out of like going to college? Because uh, it's just the education. I just like and nothing else. I can just educate myself. But it's to get a degree to get in like advancement in the careers and our better like uh, career options, maybe. But, like, I don't know, I, I barely take time off for myself just to relax or just to, like, you know, see the dentist or see a doctor. And so, because I barely take time off for myself, also, I don't want, like, accrued costs of, like, um, dentist bills or, like, medical bills as well, too. Um, I don't even have time for, like, going to school part-time and try to be a part-time student while working a full-time job. So it's like I kind of I bet I could like uh, use Pell grants to like make college for free up to like a two year associate degree, but I don't know like how much the uh, better that would be to, uh, for me for like my career in order to earn more money, and then I would have to like take a considerable time off to like make that effort. I honestly rather like spend that time to like work to be like a Twitch streamer and to like make more content and expand my Twitch and YouTube presence, my social media presence, so that like. I'm a influencer, but then like I'll hopefully to use that influence to like mention, hey, here's share the links on page, or hey, um, my friends like need money in order to like uh, pay for food. But, yeah. Uh, continue on. While Democrats will work to like make promises of education available to everyone, Trump and just sees his schools as another opportunity for a scam. A Trump University not only uh, con thousands of people into like, buying worth of degrees, it saddled them with thousands in debt. And not only are Republicans trying to like block uh, our student debt from read, they're also slashing funding for job trainings that ensure workers who can uh, access good paying jobs. That's without four years degree. I don't think the Democrats are going to do much better in that in this particular department as well, too. I don't uh, unless they're willing, uh, just willing to have good paying jobs to people not in the four year degrees. But I think the Democrats also like that kind of like elitism as well, too, that like the higher education people would just get the good jobs. Um, so, yeah, even if like, college was, like, free for me to do, I don't know if I would have, like, the time and energy or motivation to be able to get my two-year social degree. Or if how much benefit that will be for me. I'll continue on. At the same time, Democrats have educators' backs. Teachers, education and support professionals, para, uh, uh, paraprofessionals, uh, professional, paraprofessionals, professors, professionals, paraprofessionals. That's a weird word. 
and like the school related air personnel with specialized instruction support air personnel are the heart and the soul of our communities they give so much of themselves and inspire our children to stream the administration and council student death loans were more than like 942 like a eight thousand public services including educationers public schools educationers are also deserve a raise we recruit more teachers new teachers fellow uh, paraprofessionals uh, and school related personnel and educate support profession professionals with the options and for some to even start training in high school and we will support and uh, help support help school support staff to advance their own careers with a living wage everyone should just have like wooden wage again a ubi everyone has a living wage with the ubi and anything they they work towards and um, again go on top of that we will improve uh, like uh, work conditions and support to help uh, and make uh, teaching a sustainable and affordable passion and uh, and we'll keep like investing in partnerships with hbcus and uh, msis and like tribal uh, and tribal colleges and universities to strengthen the diversity of the teachers pipelines so students of every uh, background can see themselves at the heads of the classrooms and in charge of their schools